Then we prayed, and we prayed against wars, and I saw a shift happening in the war. Now, this is why I'm giving this to the intercessors and the prophets, because this is how we need to pray. There's, a sh there's shifts happening. We prophesied right here at this table that there was a shift taking place. We prayed against wars, and then I saw a leader passing away, a significant leader passing away that was going to have a huge effect on some things taking place right now. I prophesied. We prophesied. Three days later on Wednesday, Yara Sinwar, Sinwar, the Hamas leader, was killed. Amen. Major shift in the war with Israel. Because we prophesied from this house that what they predicted this war shall take place, how long it shall go. We prophesied from this house almost nine months ago and I said God says I shall cut it short do you see that for it shall not persist there will be more wars amen the Palestinians and Gaza and, uh, and, and, and Hamas and Israel these things have been happening for years but the intercessors have been able to move some of these things out the way Amen. As we speak, this thing is supposed to be closing. Amen. It's supposed to be closing. Why would God show us? It's a sign. But we need to pray. Because the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, but the violent take it by force. I want you to understand when the territory between in Palestine Gaza, Israel. Now, many of you guys know I say this all the time. I'm no expert. I'm just a prophet that did what? Study. On something that God showed us. Okay? I didn't go to school to know this stuff. I just looked at a map. Amen? There's Palestine. Amen? That's why God can use this like he can. Because I'm not an intellectual, nor am I educated. I'm educated in the kingdom. Amen. Revelation. <laughs> Holy Ghost educated. Come on. Somebody this week called me a genius. I said, oh, no, I'm not no genius. The Holy Spirit is the genius. Come on. Now, you have Palestine. You have, from what I believe, you have the Gaza Strip here. Then you have Israel and these territories. What is Palestine and, and Gaza over there is actually the promised land. It's what God promised to Israel. So it belongs to Israel in the spirit. Do you see that? When you have conflict in these regions like this, it's actually not an earthly conflict. <laughs> because the land that was attributed to God's nation on the earth is actually a sign of what belongs to heaven. So the wars that are taking place are not really about earthly, just about earthly Israel and, and Palestine and the promised land. It's about your inheritance. The inheritance of the nations from heavenly places. Just a manifestation of conflict that's taking place there. 